Welcome to That's The Point, your inside scoop on the latest construction technology and workflows, brought to you by the experts at Building Point. Hey everyone, and welcome back to That's The Point. My name is Jonathan Stickle, and I'm here with my co-host, Mr. Steve Cairn. Steve, how you doing today? <laughs> doing great, man. I am really excited, really excited about this one. You look cool, I guess. A little, well, little goofy with the hat on. Not sure what's going on over too there. too much. Going out tonight? It's too much. Something big? Jump in first. You know, first thing you would do is power on the XR10, mm -hmm. but... What I want to do is walk through the initial setup of the HoloLens. Okay. Um, and what we did was grab some screenshots from Microsoft directly. Um, the reason for the screen grabs is that we can't display anything until the, you until know, that, that, point. that basic yeah. setup is, is set up. So first thing that you'll see when you hop in uh, to the HoloLens is your typical, you know, Windows, you know, logo. Mm -hmm. That's what you would hit to, to, to get into the device. So it's going to ask you what language. It's going to ask you your region. Uh, it's going to ask you to then uh, calibrate uh, the HoloLens, so it's going to do some eye tracking. Okay. Um, what it does, it's it's a real quick calibration. It's going to put up a hologram that you will follow with your eyes only. Mm -hmm. uh, so don't follow it with your head all over the place. Eyes only. Keep your head still. Eyes only. Uh, it's okay if you blink. You don't need to tape your eyelids open. Just yeah. follow the gems around. That's what Microsoft calls them, gems. Okay. Um, so follow those those around, and those that'll be calibrated to you specifically. Uh, next, log into Wi-Fi. Uh, after that, again, we spoke, spoke about this on the last episode. Uh, is this for a single user or a multi-user mm -hmm. um, setup? So multi-user, work owns it, educational facility, get with the IT staff there, and then ask them how they want to go about that. You know? um, so next, uh, speech recognition. Do you want to speak to Cortana? Do you want to you know, be able to interact with your voice, open up apps, things this, like that? This is kind of a preference thing. So, 100%. Uh, I, I find it to be beneficial, mm -hmm. better than typing everything so yeah. use your voice when you can much quicker so but again teach their own um, next help improve the hololens diagnostic data okay um, next thing it's going to bring up that uh, start menu and this it's a how-to uh, in the first step when you're getting into the hololens so this is the diagram here you're going to hold your uh, the face of your palm facing you up and then look down at your wrist and you're going to see the Microsoft logo and you're going to go ahead and hit that button and boom, you are now, you're in. You're in. You know, if your Trimble Connect for HoloLens uh, app is not pre-downloaded uh, pre uh, into the device, what you want to do is go ahead and do that. So okay. easily you can go into the Microsoft store. Okay. Um, then what you'll do is search for Trimble Connect and then just hit get. And then that'll just download right to the to the HoloLens. Okay, so inside, once you get to the Microsoft Store, um, you'll just go up to this search box, and then you can search for Trimble Connect, and um, it'll populate yeah. this page. It'll say Get. We already have it, so we're just gonna go ahead and go launch ahead and it. hit launch. Yep. So, yeah. but this will be your process. It's three quick steps. It's 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 nothing crazy. But we just wanted to show you that real quick. All right, folks. So here is the uh, sign-in screen for. Uh, Trimble Connect for HoloLens. Um, what we'll do here is go ahead and hop straight into demo mode. So he's clicking through some things now. Just want to hurry up and get in here. Okay, so once we're inside um, the demo mode, there's five models that are already preloaded. I'm just going to go ahead and select on the first one. So we'll highlight it blue and then come down to our launch button and tap that. Rocket ship. So and you'll see this 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 uh, this gets in here pretty quick. Um, those grids there, grid lines. You'll see how that's it's mapped the room out. And then pretty soon here, we should just there it is. Okay, so it kind of gives you some holographic images and like some instructions. So it shows you how you can uh, move, rotate, and scale your model. Next, um, how you can open the menu. Next. And then if you want any advanced tutorials, you can check out youtube.com backslash Trimble Mixed Reality. Okay. And then, okay, so we're here. And immediately, Steve's head is right by the <laughs> toilet getting well, the swirly. I saw you just move the model a little <laughs> bit closer into my face. Um, <laughs> thank you for that. Um, but really, um, you just hit on those, uh, you know, those three Three functions of move, scale, and rotate. Uh, if you don't mind, could you kind of hop through those real quick and kind of show show the folks out there how you would you know go about that using your hand movement? Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you want to move um, 
you want to go ahead and move your model, you're just going to use your index finger and your thumb and just kind of just kind of pinch them together and hold down and just move your arms in and out. And that'll allow you to bring your model uh, closer to you or further out. Um, if you want to scale, once you're, once you're ready to go, just release. If you want to scale, try to find a corner of the model. Sometimes, okay, there they go. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, sometimes you gotta, you gotta find them there, so. All right, so there we go. You can try to scale it down a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna grab it. Bring it closer to me. I'll throw it up here on the desk. <laughs> yeah, and if we want to move it. So for rotate here? Yeah, we're going to lock onto one of those uh, circles in the middle, and it will highlight blue, and you can kind of just move it around that way. Gonna go ahead and just throw that thing onto the desk. Yeah, I'll throw it on the desk here, and then I'll just kind of take a lap around it so we can all see kinda get from that the different 3D, angles. Yeah, yeah the, full full scope of your three D view of this thing, and you can kind of see all the duct work, and you've got some electrical back there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, again, I mean it's pretty impressive stuff um, to be able to have this, you know, floating in front of your you know in front of Jonathan's eyes through the hollow lens. Also, Steve, real quick, if you want to bring up your menu, you kind of just um, you kind of just hold, hold your hand in front of your face and it'll, uh, kind of bring up that menu item and it just, uh, gives you a few different tools to look at and, um, but you'll have some time to play around with those. Right. Okay. And that, you know, and again, folks, that's exactly why we wanted to get you into the demo mode. It's just so that you can start to get a, you know, a hands-on experience with this thing, which, you know, we all think is, is needed. Um, but this is the Trimble out of the box solution right here. And what we're looking forward to really is, Next episode, where we're going to, you know, get into some real life scenarios that is now, you know, manipulating your data and importing your data into Trimble Connect. So, um, you know, if you have any other questions or thoughts, please always let us know in the comments below. Um, so, again, on behalf of myself, Mr. Jonathan Stickle here and the entire Building Point team, thank you so much for watching and we'll definitely see you next time on That's the Point. Thanks again for joining us on That's the Point. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe on YouTube today.